Um, what it allows us to do is we have paid staff and volunteers that help us manage for our invasives, but this allows us to work on sites that we normally wouldn't work because it would be cost ineffective. We don't have enough resources. And it allows us to have that our volunteers and our staff work here maybe one day a week while then the goats are working the remainder of the week. So right here, she's eating um, oriental bittersweet. So she's eating the invasive. She's, she's this is exactly our target species that we want to have removed from the site. And so you can imagine if we were trying to do this with volunteers, it's so thick and tangly, it's difficult to work. Yeah. But more importantly, just imagine if we tried to do foliar treatment, how many non-target species we would be killing and affecting with the herbicide and also the Grand River, which is right there. Yeah. So this way we're able to significantly reduce the amount of plant that's here. And oh. then we'll use the, the herbicide in the very end. So this is an example of what it looks like after the goats have been there. And again, this has accomplished a lot of different parts of our goal, uh, lots of our goals. One is you can now see the river. Um, we've had a significant reduction in the Oriental Bittersweet. We also had privet here, multiflora rose, which has a horrible thorn on it. And the goats love thorny species like multiflora rose and bramble and other things. Um, so we've had a significant reduction in those invasives and we now have that view of the river. So the goat program is not only sustainable, you know, they have their own food source here, but it's also helping um, Ottawa County reduce the pesticides they use in controlling these? Absolutely. And especially in all three of our programs are right along the Grand River. So it's preventing us having to put an enormous amount of herbicide right next to one of our most important resources. So that's really impactful for this program. Yes. We have really are trying to, we see it in benefiting a lot of different ways. It, it reduces our cost. It, you know, is helping us deal with invasive species. It's leveraging our existing workforce, which is our paid staff and our volunteers. Um, and again, it's also helping us protect the resources that we have by using what we call all the tools in the toolbox. We're not only using goats, we're using herbicide, we're using volunteers, we are using all these different tools and together we think that we're going to be able to be successful in it, but also successful in a very efficient way. We are, uh, we're currently taking a break right now. It's extremely hot and uh, they've been eating all morning, right? Mm-hmm. So they gorge themselves and then they rest and let that food digest. And then start right back up. And they do start right back up. They are just like dogs. They each have their own temperament. This is funny because she's normally not a very um, friendly goat. And she's just checking you out. That's pretty awesome. She's like, do you have a treat? Can you feed me? Here, you want some of this? You want to try it? I think you might like it. No, it's not a treat. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I want treats. East of here, we have one of um, the rarest plant species in the state and it is being taken over by oriental bittersweet and some of these invasives. So we manage that with our stewardship crew and our volunteers. We would never put goats in there, but we know that if we don't manage for bittersweet here, it's constantly going to be feeding into that high quality spot.